Zig's the best. Let's bring him in from Sirius XM NFL Radio. Hey, Ziggy, smiling as always like a butcher's dog. Ziggy, with us being on the cusp of NFL training camps, can you please tell me, in your mind, what is the number one story in the National Football League going into training camps? I thought you had Tua Tunga Vailoa there for a minute producing your show, the way you were rolling off that name there, Rod. So, uh, to, to me, you know, it, it, to me, it's got to be can the Kansas City Chiefs three P? I mean, we mm. haven't seen this, you know, this scenario in the National Football League uh, in quite a while. New England was the last to repeat in the mid 2000s, but unfortunately, they weren't able to do so. So for me, obviously, you've got the the quarterbacks uh, in the new places there with the draft picks, Caleb in Chicago, Jaden with Washington, and all that. So that's always going to be the big story or bigger stories. But for me. You know, we haven't seen a three-peat champion, Rod, since the Packers of the 60s who won, if you will, the last NFL championship and then the first two Super Bowls. So for me, can the Kansas City Chiefs with Mahomes and Kelsey and company three-peat as Super Bowl champs? No doubt. And I apologize if you're tired of talking about this, Zig, but just one of the top stories is Dak Prescott in Dallas going into the last year of his contract. And let's be honest, he's got everything there. To make it work. This, to me, is on Dakota. What do you think? Uh, by the way, he says that, uh, you know, the foot deal is not a problem. That he does this, I guess, as maintenance from the years that he actually suffered the foot injury. Uh, to his contract, I guess there's been some talk uh, of trying to get something done here. But the fact of the matter, Rod, is that they've got a lot of salary cap issues. You also have to consider what you're doing with C.D. Lamb. Also have to consider doing what you have with Micah Parsons. So I would not be surprised if we see 2024 with the Dallas Cowboys as it or else year with not only Dak Prescott, but Michael J. McCarthy as the head coach. In other words, we could be seeing in 2025 a new head coach and a new starting quarterback for what used to be America's team. Maybe that's what they're waiting on. Really good point. You know, here's a team that doesn't get talked about a lot. I spent yesterday with NFL alum, Tory Gurley, just hanging out. And uh, sure. there was a Denver Bronco fan there. And I said, what do you think about the Broncos? And he was like, e John Payton and <laughs> Bo Nix. That ain't exactly, but one, is, one half is a Super Bowl winning combination. What about a quarterback for right. the Denver Broncos? Yeah, that's a great point, and let's face it, it's pretty amazing. The Broncos haven't had a quarterback, really, Rod, since Peyton Manning. You know, they tried Brock Osweiler, they tried Drew Locke, they tried a bunch of other guys here within the last five to seven years, and hopefully for them, Bo knows football, referring to Bo Nix. So uh, it, this is going to be interesting to see. Um, I, I think uh, under the circumstances here, you know, the Broncos could conceivably be the last place team in the AFC West because I think the Raiders are going to be better. I know the Chargers are going to be under Jim Harbaugh. And then obviously you got the Chiefs, the two time defending Super Bowl champs. So it's quite possible Denver could pick up the rear once again in the AFC West. Uh, it's going to be interesting, though, Rod. Did they, did they throw Knicks out there to start? Did they realize? You know, we may not be much this year anyway, so why not let him grow? Or do they try, you know, a veteran in there to, to you know, maybe guide the ways here for the first half of the season? So, again, uh, Denver, they're in a scenario where uh, Sean Payton needs to win and needs to win now, but to do it with a rookie quarterback, I think, is a pretty tall order. You know, you brought up the Chiefs a few times, and I feel like the NFL is the Chiefs league and everybody else is just living in it. And Jeremy from Winnipeg is watching, writes in, he says, are the Chiefs the new America's team? He just said the Cowboys are the formerly America's team. Are the Chiefs now? Yeah, I mean, you'd have to you'd have to give them their consideration. It's middle America, you know, where, you know, the uh, core values of the nation are and, you know, whatever slang you want to use. But the bottom line is, you know, they've proven to be the most consistent team, Rod. I mean, they've got two Super Bowl championships in a row, three within five years, four Super Bowl appearances, and you've got 
a really likable quarterback who's, you know, gosh, Mahomes get what, 27, 28 years old. He still acts like he's about 15 or 16. So you love that enthusiasm. And by the way, uh, congratulations to him and uh, his wife. They're going to have, what, their third child coming up. So you've got a tight end in Kelsey, who not only maybe is his best in the game, but he's dating that high-profile pro- music star. So you've got that kind of thing going for you, too. And, you know, let's face it, uh, they, they've built up what you would say is a dynasty right there in Kansas City. So you could make the argument that the Chiefs could be the new America's team, because as you know, Rod, America, Canada, whatever, they'll all blend into and, and support a winner. Yeah, and it is a great, it's a great story. There's some, although they don't seem to like the, or, the owner, but we'll talk about that another day because we got a lot of Vikings fans. We got a lot of Vikings sure. fans tuned in, and John in Winnipeg <laughs> says, Zig, does the team Skull. south of me get any better? Yeah, the Vikings. Skull! Do the Vikings get any better? What do you think? Well, let's hope Jordan Addison stays out of trouble. That was kind of a disturbing story that came out yesterday. The wide receiver, apparently DUI issue out in L.A., so hopefully that gets resolved pretty soon. Um, With the Vikings, Rod, who's going to be under center? You know, J.J. McCarthy's clearly their future, but at this point, you got to think Sam Darnold, the the former Jets and Panthers quarterback who's late now of the 49ers, He's probably going to wind up getting the nod at least to start the season. So uh, they got to get some semblance of quarterback play. They took care of Jefferson, who the best receiver in the game. By the way, if you watch uh, Netflix, they have that series now about the receivers. It's outstanding, and he's part of that. So highly recommend that. Uh, defensively, they, they made some changes. Basically swapped out Daniil Hunter for uh, Jonathan Greenard, uh, late of the Houston Texans. So. Minnesota, uh, they'll they'll battle, I, I think, for a playoff spot. But in terms of their own division, to me, it's clearly uh, Detroit and Green Bay. But uh, the Vikings need a lot to go right, and they got to have that quarterback position settled uh, before they can make any advancements. Great answers. I could go on all day. You do um, with your show. It was so nice to run into you in Las Vegas for a Super Bowl. Who goes out to Vegas for a holiday? Zig Fracassi does. Oh, and I'm going to catch the Super Bowl, too. <laughs> New Orleans? Is that going to happen again? Am I going to see you there? Oh, yeah. This time, actually, you're going to buy dinner. So, uh, yeah, definitely. No problem. On, uh, the, in the Zig Easy. How about that? So The Zig Easy, yes. And I'm probably going to be staying in a motorhome. So what I will tell you, Zig, is you will always have a place to stay with me in the Zig Easy. I'm just saying. Because I don't know if you've noticed, (laughs) hotels aren't that easy to get. Hotels aren't that easy to get this week. Not sure if you've looked into that yet or not, but, uh, oh, yeah, it's wild. Oh, my gosh, yeah. You you need King's Ransoms just to get into a, you know, like a a two-star hotel. What what do they call that? Marking the price up, you know, for the event, so... (laughs) Yeah, there is no $22 a night hotels like I enjoyed in Las Vegas <laughs> last year. <laughs> Ziggy, always good, man. Hey, here's the best testament. Here's what my buddies are saying up here, because I'm in Canada for the summer. Switch star radio from NHL radio to NFL radio. So you got them all, Zig. You got them all. It's time, man. Get her done. Oh, there were- yeah, they're my two, you know, my two, two of my favorite sports, mixing college football too. So I always love chatting pucks. In fact, I may be going on this week at some point with uh, good buddy Mick Kern on Channel ninety one. Of course, NFL Radio is Channel eighty eight on the weekends there, and you can always get me on X Rod at Zig Sports Voice. So always be You're the best. Thank you, buddy. Have a great Monday. All right, bud. Thank you, Zig Fracassi. I'm going to start calling him my brother from another mother. He's a beaut.